What is going on, Ape Nation? Afraid I got some more bad news for you. Um, but there's good news for uh, some others, and that's what we're going to talk about today, okay? Uh, someone's fortune is always somebody else's misfortune, but I know you guys don't have time to waste, so let's get right to it. So here's the deal, okay? Someone's celebrating today. Uh, it appears at Citadel Securities, well, it's like they're, uh, you know... 30 year anniversary or something like that must be a big one you know 30 years it's a reason for ken griffin to spend a ton of your money 1200 people 1200 people were flown out to disneyland that's right ken and his goons are going to be spending quality time with uh mickey uh last name mouse mini last name mouse i think they might be married or related i don't know brother or sister who knows uh, Donald Duck, Goofy, Daisy Duck, I mean, hey, they're going to have a blast uh, at Disney World, right? He's flying these people out from Asia. So now he's working with China. Well, he has been working with China, the trader. But let me read you this article, okay? It's very disturbing. Billionaire hedge fund boss Ken Griffin pays for 1,200 staff and family members to visit Disney Tokyo, and hear performances by Maroon 5 and Calvin Harris. So, yeah, they get to visit Disney World and uh, listen to Maroon 5. I mean, heck, I would have at least taken him to see, like, Drake or something, or Morgan Willan. That sounds like more fun. But, you know, like I always said, Ken Griffin literally blows his money on bullshit. Well, <laughs> Our money on bullshit. If he was having to spend his own money, I'm sure he'd take him to see Morgan Willan, right? Hedge fund boss Ken Griffin paid for more than 1,000 Citadel and Citadel Securities employees and family members to go to Disney in Tokyo last week in honor of the company's recent anniversary. So that is one fact I got wrong. I apologize, y'all. He did this crap last week, okay? Uh, I'm not sure if it was before or after he, like, you know, blew a bunch of your money uh, for the down payment of his new mansion that's, you know, also going to be, like, setting real estate records in the United States of America. So just in case you were wondering what he's doing with your money. The roughly 1,200 attendees, including about 300 children, well, to me, they're all children. Why else would they go to Disney World? Receive tickets to Walt Disney World Tokyo, including Tokyo Disneyland and Disney Sea, and some musical performances by Maroon 5 and Calvin Harris, the company told Insider. Attendees at the celebration held October 27th, from October 27th through the 29th came from uh, six of the company's offices in Asia Pacific. That would be uh, Hong Kong, Singapore, Sydney, Shanghai, Tokyo, and Gurugram. According to the Bloomberg Billionaires Index, covered the cost of travel, hotels, food, Disney tickets, entertainment, and child care, the company said. Griffin spoke at the anniversary celebration Saturday before introducing Moron 5. So, let me get this straight. He uh, takes them out there, winds them and dines them, provides them child care for the 300 kids, um, and then introduces Maroon 5. Wow. They must be really impressed with him. Today, the range of talent we have brought together is simply astonishing. We've created not one, but two firms at the forefront of the industry. Together, we have imagined and built the future of finance. In case you're wondering who said that, well, uh, that'd be none other than Ken Griffin. Can't believe he says that bullshit. The extravaganza honored Citadel's 30th anniversary in 2020, which the company did not celebrate with an event at the time due to the COVID-19 pandemic and Citadel Securities' 20th anniversary last year. So basically what he's uh, trying to say is, hey, uh, you know, here's your anniversary present. It's a little late. U.S., Canada, and Europe employees of the company's March Citadel Securities 20th anniversary in 2022 with a trip to Disney World and Universal Studios, as well as a cold play concert. But COVID-19 restrictions in parts of Asia kept many APAC employees from attending Roughly 10,000 people, including 2,500 children, 
attended last year's event, which Griffin also covered. So, God, dog, he does this every year. He blows our money on, well, what, entertaining his own people from his own company instead of entertaining us with our own money? Well, he's got that shit ass backwards. Anyhow, I'm too angry to speak about any more of this, but, you know, I had to report this to you guys when I saw it. Hope you enjoyed the short video. If you did, of course, do not forget to uh, smash that thumbs up button because it means the world to me and will allow me to continue to make videos just like this to brief you on what Ken Griffin spends your money on.